this and the maps, we'll be able to locate landmarks and find our way out of here. Can you manage the map, Captain? Go ahead with the binoculars, boy. I will guide you reading the map. Let's start. Do you see the plane, boy? Use the zoom to find a suitcase. Good eye! Now return to the big frame, and let's continue searching. I'm seeing a sleepy snake. Maybe I can disturb it with the binocles reflex, so we know where they are. To the east of the plain, we should find a group of small ruins. Rotate to look around. Aha! Those are the ruins! To the opposite direction, we must find a rock group called the Vulture's Nest. It should have a special shape. That is the nest! Look, Captain, the big rock! It looks like a camel! Good boy! Now we must find an oasis with a rock exactly like this! Well, this seems to be the Camel Rock. The next step is a bit tricky, boy. We must find a rock with a sign in an oasis. The map says that only a true merchant will... This is blurry. The trap. What does it mean, Captain? Don't know, boy. Let's find a rock with a sign and we will see. This is it, boy! Good job! Now we must find a rock with this sign in another place. This sign is different. We must keep searching. This sign is different. We must keep searching. Is... 
Is that a hand? I think this is the trap that the map mentioned. We must search for another pair of symbols. This is it, boy! Good job! Now we must find a rock with this sign in another place. I see the sign, Captain. It's there. This is the end. Caravans pass near this point. We should be able to find our way out from here. This is the land of thirst, boy. We're gonna die here. And our bleached bones will forever remain in this desert. Calm yourself, Captain. We are going to make it. We'll reach Bagar and stop Saccharin. By the way, what's your business with Saccharin, boy? Why did he snatch you? Well, he also stole my ship. But in my case, it was a miniature ship. For the Seven Seas! That man is a maniac of piracy! But a miniature ship? Yes, it is strange. But in reality, I think he wanted a parchment that was inside the ship. One that Snowy took from the Karabujan. Do you think the pilots survived the landing? I don't know. But if they didn't survive, the parchment is gone. Lost in some part of this enormous desert. A parchment? Did the miniature have some coat of arms or a name you can remember? Yes, it was something curious. I have it on the tip of my tongue. Oh yes, of course, the unicorn. The unicorn? You said the unicorn, boy? That was the ship of one of my most famous ancestors, Sir Francis Haddock. My father told me a story when I was young. A legend about the unicorn. That's the reason Saccharin seized your ship. Maybe he thought you knew something about that parchment. Can you remember that story, Captain? Ah, uh, Sir Francis Haddock was one of the best captains in the history of the sea. He commanded the Unicorn, a galleon that sailed the West Indies to bring the products of the New World to Europe. Sir, can we talk? Captain, maybe it's time to leave this dock, but the ship is not ready. Crewmen are getting lazy. Maybe some discipline from their captain is needed. Hmm, you are right. I'll check the deck and talk with the crewmen. Landlubber! If I see you sleeping again, you'll feed the sharks! Do something useful now! Yes, Captain! Captain, some sailors are sleeping around the ship, sir. They need a lesson. I set up some special surprises for you to wake these sleepy fishes. <laughs> Sir, I was just resting a little. I'm awake, I'm awake. Wow, 
What are you doing, sailor? You fight like a dairy farmer! Let me teach you how to use a sword! Yes, Captain! Let me show you how to fight! He did bend like a child. This is how a true sailor blocks. A good sailor knows how to dodge. Charge me. Now I'll show you me special moves. Attack. Show me your best. <laughs> Come on, sailor. Get up and go see the doctor. Ye will need to be in perfect condition to fight pirates. Yes, sir. Thanks for the lessons. Stop cleaning that floor, sailor. I can barely see me face reflected on it. These sails are not going to be ready for sailing alone. Grab some men and set them as soon as possible. Yes, Captain! Everybody's working on deck and we are just relaxing. This is so great! <laughs> Nothing to do here, hmm? Okay then. I have a task for you, lazy jellyfishes. We're gonna train with this cannon until the unicorn is ready to leave this dock. Come on! Go reload that cannon! Yes, Captain! Good! Now fire it, and be sure you hit the boat! Right on target! Nice shot! Yes, Captain! Reload it faster, you tortoises! Yes, Captain! Good! Quickly, fire the cannon! Yes, Sink Captain! Them. Now I'll duck! Good duck one. quickly! You will live to see another day! Now go help your crew. We're gonna sail soon! <laughs> We're ready to leave, Captain. Way anchor! Prepare and pry 
Aim the cannons! All Engine gunners to the deck! We're in the line of fire! Everyone off the deck except the gunners! Gunners, prepare to dock! Stand fast! Wait! Wait! Take no! Duck! Double the wage of the first gunner to hit wood! Ah! Ha! 
Show some respect, land lover! You call yourself a pirate! Yeah! 
Want a piece of old Haddock? Take this! <laughs> Well, well. Look at the fate of the mighty captain, Sir Francis Haddock. His ship boarded, his crew captured, and he stripped of any semblance of power and command. Do whatever ye want with me, but spare me crew! Your crew, Haddock, is not your problem now. Better worry about yourself. Snowy! Captain! Good morning, gentlemen. How are you this morning? Who are you? Where am I? Where's the captain? Where are my manners? Sorry. I'm Lieutenant Hank Morris. I'm in charge of Fort Al Salad, this place. We are part of the British Army, just a little outpost a couple of days east of Bagar. Bagar? We were going to Bagar. But the sun... Yes, I know. Crossing the desert is no easy feat. Only the most experienced can do it safely. Where is Captain Haddock? He was angry and violent. It took three of my best men to restrain him. He could not be left wandering free through the fort. By the way, you know my name, but I don't know yours. My name is Tintin. I'm a reporter from Brussels. How long have we been here? Three days. I think it's time to stretch your legs a bit. Come with me. Captain! Can you hear me? Captain! Rackham. Red Rackham. Return me my ship! Who's Rackham? Captain! Can you hear me? Captain! Captain, wake up, Captain! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, you grumpy old fool! Much better. How are you, Haddock? I hope you're comfortable at the place I've prepared for you at the mast. <laughs> Ye laugh like a donkey, Rackham. Oh, yes, Haddock. Keep mocking and laughing. Keep looking tough. I wanted you to see this. My treasure. My ship was a good one, but was so damaged because of our little squabble that I have decided to reclaim your beautiful ship for my needs. Where are me men? Have ye killed them? Oh, you offend me. What kind of ruffian do you think that I am? I'm going to free them and give them my old ship. As long as they are able to fix the holes in the hull and prevent the whole ship from sinking, they'll be fine. You're a monster! Tonight, my men and I will celebrate, and your crew will sink to the bottom of the sea in a wrecked husk. And tomorrow, you will know the kind of monster that I am. I promise you. Keep an eye on him. If he is not tied up here tomorrow at dawn, I will throw you into the sea so the sharks can have a healthy breakfast. Yes, Captain. I'm thirsty. Give me some water. Shut up. Rackham will not be happy if I die of thirst before he can kill me. If I hear anything more from you, I'll put you to sleep with my own fists. These ropes are... Uh, a bit loose. <clears throat> I think I can rub these ropes against the mast. <clears throat> 